Water, earth, fire, food on TikTok. Specifically, the preparation of food on TikTok. I don't know when it is that we humans evolve from apes to people who can intelligently communicate and film ourselves making obesity and cardiac arrest, jailed and death sentence burgers, but I don't like it at all. Scientists call that sort of advancement evolution, but I call it evo-pollution. Uh, funny joke, I'm so funny. Uh, guys, help. Anyway, I love children, and if there's one thing that I love more than children, it's fat children, so they can't run away from me when I chase after- Hold up, I don't think I'm understanding this context correctly. Plate my one-year-old's breakfast with me? This? Is breakfast for a one-year-old? These things? They cannot be any sort of nutritious for a one-year-old when they literally look like crumpled bean bags covered with copious amounts of baby powder. Uh, okay, thank god they enlarged the product on the packaging and cut it in half so you can see its inside because there is something gravely wrong with the color. Like, I can understand Krispy Kreme's donuts, white people cooked on those, but these look so sad and like a bit moldy. But I think I would still rather eat them than maintain this eye contact we're having right now. Do you feel like you're interrupting something? Because this feels very intimate, but only in the one-sided way that she's secretly looking at me through a hole in my wall. <laughs> Great, so we just gave our one-year-old three of these bean bags for breakfast? Forget about, I don't know, like, ham and tomato sandwiches or yogurt for breakfast, okay? We're having an all-you-can-eat at the furniture store. We're not having cherries, but chairs, and not kiwis, but TVs for dinner. I'm actually hoping that there's some sort of fruits or vegetables that show up next for this kid's health. You know what? I'll take it. It's an applesauce pouch, and I don't even have any idea what one-year-olds eat anyway. They're not even real. China. But you know what's real? An easy morning of more donuts for breakfast. As a snack, I would understand giving your kid like a quarter of a donut every once in a full moon. But these TikToks were posted 10 days apart, and the three beanbags and full-size donut are for breakfast. Besides some food crimes here and there, it seems like she has been preparing more nutritious foods for her kids, which is great. We love character development, but when I said character, I didn't mean it in this way. <laughs> Do not laugh jovially like that. You just committed biological, chemical, and psychological warfare. I feel like I deserve GI Bill benefits after seeing this, but believe it or not, that's not even the worst part. Despite the amount of letters present in this video, I have no words. Can you even eat Spam Raw? No, a better question would be who would eat Spam Raw because that literally looks like you just scraped out somebody's gums and mixed it with whatever green substance is on your hand in an industrial concrete mixer that accidentally took your pink hubba bubba with it. It's such a lovely flesh color. And then as if the food combination is not already strange enough, you add what looks like alternating normal and tomato sauce dip sausages and vampire's teeth? Vampire's teeth. Be honest, does this bring you joy? Do you derive pleasure from creating monstrosities because this might just be the modern recreation of Frankenstein's coming to life? Which part of this was the star? Certainly not the taste because look at how untouched it was compared to other dishes. And then this comes in second place. Literally no one even thought to taste test it. Whatever this concoction of yogurt, boots, and candy slab of chocolate and sprinkles. And then this brown thing. This, this is great.
one pattern that I have realized after going through a not normal amount of these food preparation videos is the fact that if the starting angle is this downward shot, there is no saving of the human race. I'm not even exaggerating, okay? Not at all. If your food is looking like my inventory after a one hour unsuccessful mining session in Minecraft, you need to reconsider your food choices and tastes. At first, I thought the yellow block up here was better, but then I realized that would literally send you to your next life. And now I have even more questions like, why do we need three types of cheese? Why do we need this dish in our life? And why do we need three types of cheese in one dish? Please, my cows would like to know where it's milk that was supposed to be fed to its children that humans then stole by pulling on its nipples without a single morsel of shame went. I just noticed that this entire video has been silent besides the ASMR food boxing part. I guess she had quite a bit of beef with it. <laughs> Loki is like slime ASMR videos, but like a, a tiny bit less appealing and a tiny, a tiny bit more likely to send you spiraling through your trauma of the army boot camps. Because this literally looks like those muddy training grounds that people have to crawl across. If English class has taught me anything, it's symbolism, and this imagery is so symbolic of the same crawl to the bathroom after eating. That's okay. Okay. So now we take it out. Okay. Yes, exactly. Now this is for if you've got a big party coming. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and you need something to cook. This is easy. Look at this. Ready? I want this to be gone. The reason I have put the big cheese in the middle is for vegetarians. They can't have the meat. Remember I moved all the meat aside? Then they can just have the cheesy part and not worry about anything else. <gasps> Look at that. Now this is a little underdone. So should I cook it longer? Do you think I need to cook it longer? Yes, you need to cook it a little bit longer. That beef is so raw, we need to send out an amber alert for a missing cow. And before you guys say something, the last time I checked, the middle part clearly does not have meat or cheese at all. So I think she's right. Enjoy your food, vegetarians. Out of my love for you, I will let you have all of this dish. Yeah, but you can eat meat like that, right? It's just, it's just medium rare. That is not medium rare. That is a lie, ah. hello? I can hear it talking to me still. Okay, I think it's okay. Look at that. None of that meat is cooked. Goodbye. If none of the TikToks I have shown you made you violently ill yet, stay tuned, you masochist. I always have more tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> this has to be the most clean kitchen I have ever seen. Now the maggots, this alien, the mold here, the vomit here and here aren't dirty. They add personality to this guy's home, which is very important when your life choices have probably made every part of you shrivel up approximately dx over dt equals 2 inches per month. 
The worst part about this is the fact that his dogs are out. Put those rancid things away. They're the only things thinking up this place. I understand washing your vegetables, especially if you live in the world's cleanest kitchen. And the soap is actually vegetable wash. But then why put it back on the counter? You should put it on the floor, it's probably cleaner. Oh, okay. Now I understand why. It's because you're going to pick up a dirty ass container that probably has cholera on it next to the pile of trash and use it as your plate. Never let them guess your next chance of death. That egg might be closer to death than this guy is, not gonna lie. I know that eggs in Japan are more orange than in the US, but I have a feeling that you should not be able to pick up the yolk with your bare hands no matter how orange they are. Nguyen said so. It's like the egg law of motion. Garlic powder. You know that something is deathly wrong when your cooked food looks like the vomit that is already on the counter. どっちから焼いていこうかな。でかいのからいこうかな。行きます。ほう。いいよとしてますね。ほう。はい、じゃあ。ほう。いただきます。次こっち行こうかな。ちょっと、ちょっと贅沢で。うん、これは食べていきまし
Und stock. Right, listen, okay? Cows, I don't know. I don't know what the hell. Okay, cows graze. We hunt, right? Stock cows. Now, stock. Stock just sounds, you know, like stock. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Oh, sh dude, I'm cooking. Okay, one more. We got two, two things left, okay? We're gonna shuffle again. Definitely nibble, peck. Those are the things like you do to another person. Okay, you graze. And you stalk, right? That's what you do to another person. It's not, it's not... Guys, I'm actually... Is this... Is this tray or a try? Because I have a big brain. I think it's tra it's trail, so... No, what if, what if it's four? Right, because... I don't know what four is. Like, four skin? We're, we're gonna go with stock. No, maybe pod. Okay, we have seven seconds. Great! I'm doing so great, shuffle. Okay, time's up. Literally solved it. The end. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my gaming channel. Today, we're doing the February 19th connections by the New York Times because yesterday while I was in bed, a ghost, oh my voice, a ghost whispered to me. I just woke up. A ghost whispered to me. It's 11.24. A ghost just wh whispered to me that I, in fact, did not solve yesterday's connections. And I cannot be accused like that because I, I beat the world record. So today, I'm going to, I'm going to prove them wrong, okay? The world record is, th is now two minutes. So I'm going to beat it in a minute and 59 seconds. I'll set a timer. Okay, and then we're going to start. Okay. S okay. A hinge. Bum bumble hinge. Oh my god, this is so easy. It's Tinder, this is so easy. What? <laughs> Wait. Okay. You know what? Shuffle. Yo, this is too easy, man. Can I make it, like, a little bit harder? Is it- is it not? This? Router- handle? Handle. Saw. I'm cooking. You handle a saw and a, a, a drill and a router, right? No. Okay, maybe a frame. Fuck. I have one. I have one thing left. Okay, I have 30 seconds, so we have time. Let's, let's think about this. What the fuck? Oh no, drill spoil. Drill spoil, like you're drilling and there's like spoil left over, you know, like the, the dirty stuff. So basically, 